Malvi from uh, Skipboard Ice Harley Davidson. I'm going to install a set of handlebars from Burley on a Sportster. I'm going to start by lifting the clutch up because you're going to be changing the cable anyways. Depending on your bike, different connectors have different ways to dis disassemble them. Loosen up the handlebar clamp, pull the bars off, get them out of the way. What we're going to do here is find the right wire to the right color, slide them on, and then heat shrink them. Everybody has their own way to do this. I use electrical tape and a, and a feed wire. Make a little loop in the wire, feed half the wires back, and just tape it. Feed it through. Fed through. Easy as that. Bigger heat shrink over all, all the wires. Get them nice and tight, right up to the stock uh, heat shrink. Just make it look clean. So we got them all shrink wrapped. Next step is put them back up on the bike, get them all mounted up. Uh, feed our wires through the triple trees between the triple tree and the the headlight. Just put the wires back in the connector in the right in all the right places. Uh, we're gonna plug all the wires back in, all the connectors back into their original places. Place the clutch cable. Start by he has mid controls, so remove his foot peg. Slides right out. Reinstall the new one. Make sure the O-ring is on the cable. Feed in the case. Always start it by hand. Do not over torque. Putting the mechanism back in. Just the same way you pull it apart. Reinstall the derby cover. Make sure the gasket's still aligned. Reinstall the clutch perch and the switch housings. Put your levers back on and put your cable back in the housing. Put your pivot pin back in there. All right, we're gonna adjust the clutch free play to spec. Put the clips back on the clutch cable. So we're gonna uh, remove the old throttle cables, get them out of the way. The new idle and throttle cable back in, just go back the way it came out. The cable's back in the housing. And when you put your switch housings back on, make sure you don't pinch the wires. Make sure they're in the, there's a recess in these bars to keep them from pinching. Make sure that's all aligned. Put the master cylinder back on. Make sure the wires aren't getting pinched. Just same as you're doing on the uh, switch housings. Make sure everything's clear and inside where it's supposed to be. So you're not pinching the wires. Uh, install the new brake line. Put your crush washers on just like on the top. New crush washers and install your banjo bolt. So we're gonna bleed the brakes now. I use a air vac to do it. You could pump it by hand if you got a buddy, but this is a lot quicker. So we're buttoning it up. Just make sure everything's tight. Make sure your brakes feel good, clutch feels good. Just give it a once over. 